Okay. You realize that I have the best breakfasts when I come over here? No. Mm. Okay, so I'm gulping. She's sipping. We have coffee. So, Code has been sleeping Come over on. here. Buffy's been sleeping Come over here. So we. <laughs> what are you Come doing? <laughs> She's like, I want to go for an RIDE. Are you cozy? <laughs> Lie down, boy. Lie down. There you go. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> The other day, uh, what you and and your family, your brother and your daughter, and they they sat around and they played Bean Boozled. Um, I have never experienced the dead fish before. Ew, gross. I have done the the spoiled milk. There's rotten egg too. Yeah, I've done the rotten egg. Ugh. Oh my god, there's not very much cake left. <laughs> it's a crisis. <laughs> um, so anyway. I want to experience the dead fish just to see how disgusting it really is. I mean, uh, how do they taste? How do they figure out what dead fish? Who tastes this to know? Here's a real dead fish. Hey, did we do a good job? Does this really taste like it? Gross. Actually, all fish you eat is dead. They should be say like spoiled fish or something, like rotten fish. This over here, freaking delicious. So thank you for for suggesting that I eat tried this first since I want to do this. And then. And then have cake because I don't want to throw up. Cake. Everybody should eat cake in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to Bill Cosby, it was chocolate cake. It's great because it's got like you know everything in it for that you should have for breakfast and stuff. Bill Cosby. Yeah. Daddy's great. We got chocolate cake. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Bill Cosby though. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So dead fish. Um. Oh boy, okay. Ew. I think your reaction is going to be better than mine. If you're gonna do it, you got a full submersion. It tastes kind of like, um, oh. Dead fish? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it was bad. It wasn't horrible. If you stop chewing it, it wasn't horrible. But I have now experienced it, so okay. I, my, my curiosity is satisfied. I'm, I'm done. Gross. But what about the other one, though? Because the opposite of that should be strawberry banana smoothie. Mm -hmm. Did you get dead fish again? <laughs> you didn't learn the first time? It tastes like smoked salmon that's been out. Oh god, I'm gonna keep... Really? That's disgusting. I'm gonna puke. Oh god. That was worse than the first one. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I want to put them all back and we're going to eat some chocolate cake. Oh my god, that was horrible. You want to try it? No. <laughs> I'm good. It okay. stinks. <laughs> Come here, baby. You want to kiss? <laughs> okay, which one's mine? Quick, please. Just choose. It's the same. Okay. Not okay. that one. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I... those stink. You, you stink. Why, thank you. Does it smell like dead fish? No, but it stinks. Okay, well, um, that's my little chocolate cake. And dead fish. I hate to do this to you guys, but uh, Angie's been working on the super secret project for West Coast, and I can't show you, but I am going to film some so that when we are able to show you, I will have it now. So if you guys watch the vlog every day, then you will like remember this clip when I'm talking about it, and it's it's really awesome. Is that awesome? It's awesome. Okay, back to the vlog footage. Buffy sees something under the couch that she really, really wants. 
Look at that tail. Oh, okay. Did you get it? No, there's a tennis ball under no. there. I don't care what you call it. Call us traitors. Whatever. I don't like Tim Hortons. I'm sorry. <laughs> People are going to say, you're not a real Canadian. I guess not. <laughs> I used to like Tim Hortons years and years ago, but if you drink Tim Hortons black, it doesn't taste very good. Yeah. Starbucks tastes good black, so. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, awesome. I'm, I'm a day old popcorn. <laughs> Numbers, are you um ready? Do you want to um. Do you wanna. Do you um. Oh. Blind glasses. <laughs> Do you want to um, go? Uh, you want to go for a? Uh, let's go for a walk. Come on, go, go, go downstairs. Go give her downstairs. Go. Oh, peace. So we're out for a walk, and once again, this is what happened last. Well, not last night. Night before last night. Now. A car went through this and went right into there. See, look, broken wood. I hate it when you have broken wood. What, it's wood and it's broken. Yes, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, okay, so if we're walking. When we started walking, we were joking about that rain cloud up there. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, heal. Anyway, we were joking about that rain cloud up there and the rain cloud is, it, it is coming. Okay. I got a dog on each side yeah. of you. I know. <laughs> You're going to get clotheslined. Oh, ah, I am. Help oh, me. You guys, leave it alone. <laughs> it's getting dark. It's rainy. I wouldn't go this way by myself, but <laughs> since you're with me, let's go see if we can scrounge up a bear. It's actually quite dark. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Gosh, you have so much pretty, so many pretty areas. Here. That's why I wanted to come earlier in the day. We'll go through here again. Oh wow, it's muddy, so that's like fresh water. Um, oh, I can lighten the clip up a little bit, but it's probably gonna be too dark. Sorry guys. I got the camera too. There's a water spot, but that's the cloud that just got us. We're up here. We're kind of high. We're at the MH, which is the Mile High Club. <laughs> Look at all the cookie cutters. Yeah. Wow, it's a sea of cookie cutter. Yeah. There, I wiped you guys off. You're welcome. Wow. There's the Fraser River down there. What mountains? I don't know. I'm sure people from the area would be like, oh my god, you should know these things. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, second day in a row, we've made it to the top of the mountain. And I love this. These houses have a view of more houses. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, there's mountains over there too. I'm sure on a clear day, this probably yeah, looks pretty, pretty nice. Wow. Okay, you guys hear water? That's the water feature right there. <laughs> Peeing out the pipe. So yeah, this is, looks like this, well, this is just being developed and then there's a bunch of site survey marks wow. up there. So I guess we're gonna finish off up top. Wow. You ready to go home? Nope. Never ready. My nose is running. <laughs> Your nose is running? <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, I know. I'm. Yeah, sure. My, my nose is running too, and pretty soon my eyes are going to sweat. I hate it when my eyes sweat. I know. We actually worked on the super secret project today for a little while, so that was cool. I'm just, just going to hide it here. Yep, she's hiding it right now, and I don't have my glasses on, so you guys can't get the... Whoa, hold on. <laughs> so you can't get the refre ref 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 refraction. Refraction. Refraction? My glasses? Refraction. All right. All right, while well, everybody's not having leaking eyes, say goodbye. Until next time. And nothing's changed, it still sucks leaving. Um, 
so unless something happens, I, I think I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time. We're just uh, we're just going to get home. We've got an estimated uh, three hours of travel time. I'm on Pack Highway headed towards the U.S. border, and uh, we're just going to get home. Well, apparently it doesn't just happen to Lakewood. We were right the other night. Well, we are just about ready to enter the great city of Seattle, Washington. My mood has improved a little bit. I've been jamming out to music, just uh, kind of zoning out. Oh, the battery in the camera's just about ready to die. I want to film something and the camera's going to die. Woo, wonderful. Alrighty then. Well, so we'll just continue our, uh, our little trek. See, now I think that's really cool. All the skyscrapers here in Seattle have uh, neon lights on them. Or maybe they're LED, but I don't know. Neon lights on them, uh, blue and green for the uh, the Seattle Sea Chickens. Oh, excuse me, uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Very purtiful. Purtiful? Is that a word? I'm making it a word. Add ish. Purtiful ish. There we go. Purtiful ish. Oh my gosh, we just passed the pizza joint. I want pizza. I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking starving. I can eat a whole pizza, a large one. We're home, so now it's just a matter of getting unpacked, doing laundry, getting the house ready for tomorrow. Oh, I never vlogged this, did I? I didn't. I, I'm not one to try to throw people um, into the camera because some people just don't like it. and Some people don't want everything plastered all over the internet and I try to respect that and, and I understand that. So with that in mind, that's why I don't show like a lot of the family situations and stuff that that we do or that we experience because I, I don't need to go into it anyway here we go here we go this is a christmas gift that angie's daughter gave to me they are a set of mugs uh jack and sally two-piece 20 ounce ceramic mug set so so totally awesome look at that so sweet she didn't need to do that and she did and that's just like so awesome all right gonna get settled into life again and like we said last night now it's just a matter of going through the motions till we see each other again even though we went hiking and stuff like that this weekend it was a very it was a very good weekend but it was a very relaxing weekend too it was so awesome and it was nice to have met angie's mom and see her brother and her uh children again it was really really cool so it is time for COC. It is, again, early in the morning, so we're just going to uh, read a few comments. Uh, Angie went and commented on some of the comments that you guys had commented on about her, so that's really awesome. I, I love it when she does that. So, here we go. First comment of the night, Capzone 2, you say, first woo-woo. I haven't read Jolson's in a while, but he says, I still win. Halloween fur, uh, you were curious by the time that we were done climbing those stairs up and down, how many total was it? Uh, and we figured out that it was about 200 flights, which is a flight, which a flight of stairs in Fitbit terms is 10 feet, so about 2,000 feet in elevation. Mike Malone, you say, hey Troy and Angie, just caught up on the last three vlogs. Troy, women love to get flowers, my sister once told me. Never send flowers to their home, women love to get flowers, but they like to get them in front of other women, always send them to their workplace. Um, Angie disagreed with that, and I, you know, sometimes I think that, um... It really depends on the person. Some people want it to be broadcast to other people, and some people are just very happy about uh, sharing that moment together. Real fan Jason, there she goes again, Buffy stealing the show. <laughs> oh, Triff27, you're right. That hike would have been a great place for the 360 camera. Um, the unfortunate thing is, is I don't have a memory card for it yet, so that's something that I'm working on, and then, uh, then we'll go from there. But yeah, you're absolutely right. That would have been cool. Melinda H. Hi, now that the new year is here, when are y'all getting married? Well, right now we're trying to coordinate West Coast Honors Convention. We're coordinating um, getting our houses ready. We're coordinating moving. We're coordinating um, figuring out citizenship. It's in the mix there somewhere. But believe me, we'll let you guys know when, once we figure it out. Trish Redding, you say that we should uh, honeymoon on the Atlantic coast. You know, I don't know if we have it set in stone yet, but we do have a certain place in mind, I think. Kenny Powell. Now, Troy, I know that you're an automotive technician, but what does uh, Angie do for a living? And when you guys get married, is she giving it up? Um, do me a favor and ask me that question um, 
two weeks from now, when her and I are together again. That way she can answer that. Lindsay McOdd? I hope that's how you pronounce your last name. You say, first time commenter, really enjoy your videos. Well, thank you uh, for commenting. Uh, have been watching for a few months. Love seeing someone real and inspirational and genuine. You have a Jim and Angie and a great son and wonderful circle of friends. Keep being awesome. Thank you for sharing your life. Oh, well, you're absolutely welcome. And, you know, I, I, I have to be me because if I'm not, then, you know, I, I don't understand what good that does anybody. So, thank you. Again, I appreciate that. Uh, Bob Ross, you took your Christmas lights down today. Yes! <laughs> Canadian trucker gal, that was some hike up those stairs. Just looking at it tired me out. And I also enjoyed the monster truck video. Phoenix is too cute. Um, well, thank you. I, he was His reactions to the monster trucks, whoa, it was adorable. And yeah, uh, the stairs and everything, that was really fun. See? I'm tired too. Oh my goodness! And the final comment of the night, K Bear Fuzzy Ears, that was a beautiful view. Um, it was. And I, I love getting outdoors. I I don't know. Two years ago, if you told me that I was I would be in this situation that I'm in right now and this happy, I would have thought that you guys were would be crazy. But um, I'm really at a spot right now in my life to where things are finally uh, coming together and it's freaking outstanding. So if you guys aren't personally in that part of your life or whatever, keep working on it because nothing changes if nothing changes. You have to put in some effort for it. Um, and attitude speaks volumes. And um, hold in there. Things will get better. All right, happy hunting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, back to the grind tomorrow. I'll try to make it interesting. We'll see you then. Bye.